Hi guys, I'll talk about why I love having Olympic lifting in my training and why you should learn to love it too. With CrossFit and with people I train, I love to incorporate some of the Olympic lifts into what they do. Now why? A lot of you ask why do we have Olympic lifting in our training? Um, because it's quite complicated obviously, you have to learn it. Why can't we just do something simpler? Well, there's a few reasons. If you talk about CrossFit, well CrossFit is about getting fitter across a multitude of fitness domains. So with Olympic lifting, some of the stuff you're going to do in there are strength-based, power, speed, coordination, balance are going to be in there as well, and you need good mobility. So you're getting at least six elements of fitness covered in one movement. And if you start doing these movements over and over, you're also going to get some endurance in there as well. So I love to have Olympic lifting in my training. A simple one to start with is a power clean, which is basically picking the bar up from the floor. I'll just demonstrate one for you here. So my start position is similar to that of a deadlift, okay, but a bit more upright than, than the normal traditional deadlift. And then from there, I'm going to drive up up onto my shoulders there. That's probably the, the, the first movement we're going to teach people that start with their Olympic lifting. Now, obviously, Olympic lifting is something you need to be coached at before you just crack on with it. You can do some of the cleans and some of the, some of the other snatches using dumbbells and kettlebells, and they can be a little bit simpler than laying with a barbell, but there's a multitude of benefits actually doing Olympic lifting. The other thing is, this I think is important for people, is that it's a new skill for you to learn. So what happens to most people when they go to the gym, they do the routine for a little while, they get bored, and they quit. Well, when you're learning Olympic lifting, you have to learn various positions, you have to improve those positions, and you'll see the results and you'll feel the results over time. And that gives you another goal to focus on besides that of just what's on the scales. So being able to learn a new skill is also great for the brain because you'll be training your brain to learn something new and there's a lot of benefit to actually doing that, to learning new things in your life. So having that satisfaction from learning a new skill, plus the benefit of all the elements of fitness you're going to train, plus Olympic lifts are very energy expensive. What I mean by that is they're going to burn the most calories, okay? you're going to get a little bang for your buck. And you're going to train all of these elements without necessarily focusing on hypertrophy, so muscle, muscle size, talked a bit about that in the last video. Um, I know that some people, some uh, people don't want to get too massive, too big, too hench, um, and Olympic lifting, because of its nature, because it's multi-joint, because it's explosive, and because you're not going to do masses and masses of volume of it, it's not going to cause you to get massively hench on its own. So therefore, you're going to train and you're going to get more toned, and you're going to get muscle definition, but without size, without overdoing it on the size, which I think is beneficial to a lot of people. So. Olympic lifting, a great skill to learn and a great element to use in the gym. Find a good coach, learn it, and I'm sure you'll love it.